So here's going to be everything that changed in the new patch V62 for Lethal Company, starting with inverse teleporter working on the mineshaft tiles. Before, it had a lot of issues. Next thing that was fixed is that there was an issue where a room could overlap with the mineshaft entrance room. And in addition to that, there were certain areas in the cave where you could just walk through the wall and fall out of the map. Before, when the man-eater was killed by the trap, it would just float in the air. Now, it turns into the man-eater, but then it dies on its second turn and lays there. There was another issue where table props were not able to spawn in the mineshaft interior, and that would dramatically reduce its scrap count. That's why a lot of you might have seen zero scrap item days when you went into a mineshaft interior. Sneakers also fixed some incorrect placement of navigation blockers in caves. This prevented certain creatures, and I saw it a lot on this tile, from navigating through the caves. For example, I had a thumper that just could not go down one of these slopes and he was just stuck up top. Zeekers also fix the ways that you could drop the baby down into pits. You no longer can do this, and also, even with the elevator shaft, you can't drop the baby down. Even if you jump down into the pit with the baby and drop it so you die, as you see, it teleports right back up top. Zeekers also fixed where the breaker box could be spawned floating in the air. He also made it more difficult to get on top of the elevator by scaling up the railing here on the side. However, an easy way to do it is by calling the elevator, jumping on the button, and then jumping on top of the elevator. The main entrance can now spawn in a few unique locations on both the mineshaft interior and the mansion interior. Here's one in the mineshaft. You can see that normally you've seen it right there, but now it's up top of the elevator. You gotta go back down. And here's an example of that new door spawning on the mansion interior. As you can see, normally it spawns down there, but here it's on the top floor. For coil heads, they slightly decrease the time coil heads need to spend moving before recharging, and decrease the time they spend needing to charge. You can also walk through them when they are recharging. Coil heads recharge timer now counts down 80% slower when they are pushing on a doorway or stuck even if they are not being looked at. And coil heads eventually enter the recharge mode if they are inside the elevator. And a few other miscellaneous things include soccer balls now being able to collide with objects in the ship. When turrets begin shooting, they are now audible to enemies that can hear. The man-eater and scrap interaction is a bit better when hoarder bugs are around. So now the man-eater will only eat scrap. Yes, if you didn't know, man-eaters can't eat scrap. But before they would eat the scrap from the hoarder bugs and make the hoarder bugs angry, now they will still eat scrap from the hoarder bug pile, but it will only be possible after spotting the player. The last two things Zeekers fixed were an issue with interactable items where Things like Weed Killer and Walkie Talkie would cause the jetpack to be inversed. And so when you went to use it again, it was out of battery. And additionally, there was a fix for a visual bug for non-host players where the man-eater would transform and then just teleport. And one last thing is that doors can be haunted on their own and open and close.